morning everybody we are going to start a new series here on the dashing dink channel sparking my way to arizona all right guys we got our first spark order it is a um, round robin curbside it's two drop-offs both are small orders and it's for $19.91 it's going 7.2 miles so we got to pick it up at 745 all right let's get this uh, journey to $5,000 started how's it going today bud guys the first Walmart spark trip of the day is in and we are $20 closer to our $5,000 goal for Arizona um, I'm not gonna keep a running tally on the screen but I will keep a running tally at the end of each video so you guys can see where we're sitting as far as the amount of money that we're um, getting towards the $5,000 goal all right guys, we'll see you in a little bit. All right guys, we just got our next round robin. It is for the 845 pickup. Um, $21.22, it is going 10 miles. Um, we gotta go clear to the east side of the lake, but they're both small orders. It's only two drop offs, so I went ahead and took it. We might as well keep ourselves busy and keep putting money in the piggy bank for the Arizona trip. All right, guys, we got to pick it up in about six minutes. We'll see you then. Hello, two, three. All right, guys, I apologize. I missed recording that first drop because the gentleman was standing right at his garage. Um, I tried putting it in the dash, but when I hit the button on the GoPro, it didn't go, so. <laughs> um, but we are on our way to the second drop right now. It's about four miles away, so we'll get a recording when we get there.
All right, guys, we finally got another Spark uh, round robin curbside. I sat there for a whole hour. I did get a shopping order, but it was for 21, excuse me, $21. And it was shopping for like 37 items. It was only going a mile and a half, but I don't know, it just wasn't enough there for me. Um, so I got this curbside. This isn't great. It's $18.89. Um, but it's not going very far. And the um, the one order is fairly big. It was like 70 some units, but the other order is just in one tote. So this shouldn't be too bad. All right, guys, we got Nancy's order dropped off. We've been there before. Now this next order has got seven gallons in one tote. It's got six gallons of water and one gallon of milk. So probably gonna make a couple trips with that. I don't think I can lift that tote, especially with the way my back's been, but we're heading to the second drop off now. We should be done in plenty of time to go back and hopefully get another round robin. So we'll see you when we get there. Okay guys, we got back and we waited just a little bit and we did get another round robin. Uh, it's not great, but it'll do uh, $16.29. It's only for two drops. It's going four and a half miles and both drops are really small. One is 10 units, one is 12 units. So it's gonna be a nice easy one. We should get back here in plenty of time for the next round robin. And uh, hopefully we don't have a stale one this time. All right guys be loading up soon. All right, guys, we are in the next phase of our Sparking to Arizona series. We just got an order for 745 pickup. 
It is $35.05. It's going 4.2 miles. It is three drop-offs. Uh, all of them do say that they have bulky or heavy items. One of them's got a case of water, a 32-pack. Uh, one of them's got like five of the, what is it, six or eight pack boxes of bubbler. And the other one has got, I don't know if it's the potatoes that they're saying is 50 to 60 pounds or what. But anyway, they all are very doable, very uh, manageable. So we're going to go ahead and pick this up at 745. And we're going to continue our way to $5,000 so we can go to Arizona in October. All right, guys we got our next curbside and it's not great the only reason i took it is because i would like to stay busy with spark today it's eleven dollars and 82 cents it is going 7.3 miles but it's only one drop it's not very many items i think it was 23 or 26 total quantity um it does not show any bulky or large items um it just says that there's some perishable stuff so it's probably all going to fit in one tote We'll take that seven mile trip, we'll get it dropped off and we'll get back here for the next round robin, hopefully. All right, guys, we just got another curbside round robin. Um, I did get a couple shopping orders that came through. One of them was decent. It was like 30 some dollars, but it was a $2 tip. It was going eight miles and it was for quite a few units. Um, and it's after 10. I really don't want to shop right now. But um, we finally, we, we got a round robin. It's one drop. It's like 44 quantity. It'll probably fit in one tote. Doesn't say it has any bulky items um, or heavy items. And it's going 4.9 miles. So it's $17.83. There is a $7.28 tip on it, which is good. So we're getting 80, 86 cents for extra earnings and we're getting $9.69 from Spark. So almost 18 bucks for this one, one drop. We're doing it. All right, guys, we'll be right back. Hey, how's it going?
Okay, so we were lucky enough to get another round robin at the uh, estimated time of 35 after the hour. It's, again, it's a smaller one, but it's one drop. That's our third one of the day. It's for $17.70. It is going seven miles, but we should be able to get this loaded up. It's only 33 items. Uh, get it to the customer and get back here in plenty of time for the next round robin. So we'll uh, get it here in just a little bit. Right, we are sitting in the curbside lot at Walmart and we did just get another round robin for the uh, 1245 pickup. It is $17.52, it's going 7.2 miles and it is for two drop-offs. Now, one drop-off is nine items, one drop-off is 10 items, so they're very small. Um, this won't take us that long. We should be back here again in plenty of time for the next round robin go around. Um, orders are small today. I've had the one that was $35 and pretty much everything else has been under 20 bucks, but it's been either really short miles or really small orders. So we're just going to peck our way to, uh, getting ourselves some money today. <laughs> Alright guys, we finally, finally got another curbside uh, round robin. I sat here for over an hour and one finally came through. I declined a lot of shopping orders that just weren't very good. I declined the dot com twice. I should have taken it the first time because it was actually more than a buck a mile and it probably would have taken me less than an hour. It was for almost $40. Um, and then the second time it came around, it was for, uh, that was for 12 drop-offs. This was the second time it was for eight drop-offs, but it was $33 for 40 miles. But now we just took one, it's $14.95. I know it's not much money. It's only one drop and it's only going 1.7 miles. And it's like 29 units, 29 quantity, so. It's 10 unique items, 29 quantity. So, uh, we got some chocolate milk. We've got, yeah, it's all food and the rest is bags. So, this is gonna be a nice easy one. We're gonna pick it up in about seven minutes. You must be for me.
How's it going, man? Yeah, the bigger two, three, six, four. I think people are getting geared up for um, graduation parties because these last couple of orders that I've had now have had a lot of drinks. This has a huge thing of water and then three like 24 packs of Gatorade. Okay, complete. Guys, this is going to be the first installment of the Sparking My Way to Arizona series. Um, there's a few spark orders that didn't quite make the uh, reel because I either didn't have my camera or whatever. But our grand total so far is $286.52 towards the um, trip. There's a couple days left in May, so I'll get that up to 300, but we're so far ahead of the game. Now we're going to be focused on trying to do $300 a week on Spark from here on out. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you guys are rooting for me to be successful and get the money that I need to go. So I'm not tapping into my own... Uh, resources and funds from work or you know money to pay bills whatever so that's why i like gig work it gives you an opportunity to go on trips purchase something whatever without having to dip into your uh, primary funds all right guys that's going to do it for the first installment be looking forward to episode number two coming up hope you guys all have a wonderful day go out there and do the gig work make some money and do what you want with it this is Dashing Dink saying until the next dash. We'll see you later, everyone.